Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my latest Bath & Body Works haul. I haven't been hauling too many candles. Lately, the ones I do haul I haven't been filming, but I did get enough to film here. I haven't been buying too many of the Bath & Body Works fall ones because I have quite a few from last year as backups, so I really didn't need too many of them. And with reading the comments of the trouble with the throw and the burn and everything, I'm kind of glad. But there was one in particular I wanted, so I went... First, I placed an online order when they were two for 24. I did get, on the online order, I got three candles. I got two of the Halloween pumpkin carvings. I do have a pumpkin carving still from like two years ago. Very little of it left though, and I thought this was adorable, and I love the scent of this one. This These are all three wick, 14.5 ounce candles, and the scent description on the pumpkin carving is, I have to move this back a little bit. Invite everyone over to enjoy a fun fragrance of making jack-o'-lanterns in a blend of pumpkin, glittering brown sugar, and nutmeg spice. So I hope this burns good. And I did end up getting two of them. And then I ended up getting a buttercream frosting. Unfortunately, I just reorganized all my candles, my Bath and Body Works, and I keep them in the, in the crates that they give you. And it's buried, and I was just too lazy to dig them out. Um, but I will review them as I burn them. And just for comparison, I just have still have half of last year's Trick or Treat candle. And this is actually Marshmallow Fireside. And I, I love both of them. I love this year's little glittery pump, uh, glittery ghost scene there. And last year's was really cool, but I only got one. So I kept half of it in case they didn't come out with a Halloween candle this year. And in the burn, it's been really good. I'm going to have to start burning it again. And it has this leaves top on it. But anyway, so then, that was my online order. I did that a couple weeks ago. And I saw Melanie, Mrs. Kong's mom, just raving about this cranberry pumpkin. And I love cranberry scents, and I love pumpkin scents. So I thought, well, I haven't even been in the store for quite a while. So I went to my outlet, which isn't very far from my house, and I smelled it, and I loved it. So I, they were on sale, two for 24, same as on the online haul I did. So I got three of the cranberry pumpkin, and I, of course, used, I still have some survey coupons. I'm getting down there. I'm going to save what I have left for the $8 sale if they have it. And I do love this candle. I've already burned this one. I think I've done it twice now. It's been a nice, even burn with no set issues. Nice high throw. And you get that, that cranberry and like an underlying, like Melanie said, an underlying bakery scent to it. Not so much a pumpkin. But I do love this one, and I would recommend it. It It, it is um, very, very good. And the scent description is, Fresh from the Pumpkin Patch Patch Pumpkin blends with tart cranberry and a fragrance that brings the best of fall into your home. Love, love, love. I did smell the pumpkin pie, and I know a lot of people like that one, but I didn't, I wasn't wowed by it. So, of course, while I'm there, I'm shopping, and one of my absolute favorites, Endless Weekend, was 50% off, and the last time I had been there, they said that they were all gone. So I thought, well, that's too bad. I do have one backup, but of course, they got more in, in this really cool um, glass, the graduated glass. So I bought three of those. <laughs> And the scent description on this one is, and this is always a good thrower for me. Hopefully these do too. It says a blend of 
summer mandarin, creamy vanilla, and blue coconut water that evokes the days of sunshine and happiness you wish would never end. And it is so good. It is a nice summer scent. I don't like these uh, paper covers that they have, but what are you going to do? I do have some extra lids from candles I burnt, so I'll put those on before I store them. So then um, I'm still shopping there, and I noticed this display in the back of the store, 75% off, which is really good at my outlet. Every once in a while, you get really lucky. And they had the winter white petals. Now, I never got this candle when it was out last winter, but I smelled it, and I really liked it. And for 75% off with my survey coupon, they ended up to be about $4 each. And the scent description is, let's see here, I can get it to focus. An elegant bouquet of sheer florals, soft white cashmere musk, and a hint of holiday greenery. And on cold, it really does smell good. I haven't burned any of these yet, and I'll try to do a review on all of them, but, oh, it smells really good. So I ended up picking up five of those for four dollars i hope they throw but you know if they don't i'll melt them down and put them in tarts and that generally make makes them throw better anyway so so that's it my, that's my latest bath and body works haul i hope you enjoyed watching this video i do have a couple more candle hauls coming i have goose creek they had a sale and then kringle had it Really nice sale, so I got a couple orders coming from them. So be on the lookout for those videos. But thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.